Today we're going to get started with a Murphy bed that folds up and out of the way into the wall. Stick around and see how it's done. Today's video is sponsored by Rockler Woodworking and Hardware. Create with confidence. We're using vertical mount hardware from rockler.com. They have other options as well, such as a side mount. The hardware comes with very detailed plans and an instructional DVD to get you through the entire process. Since the hardware does come with a DVD, this is not meant to be a step-by-step -step video. This is more of an overview of what you can expect if you decide to make your own. So the very first thing that we're going to do is make the inner wood bed frame. Since this part will not be shown, I'm using poplar here. I already have all these pieces pre-cut. Basically, I'm just going to take and make a little L. And I'm going to do this five times over. And then this will be the part that uh, a quarter inch piece of plywood will sit on top of, which the mattress will go onto that. All right, there's one, four more to go. So now we're going to install the ends onto the slat assemblies that we made here. And we're just gonna pre-drill and screw everything in. All right, so that completes the inner wood assembly. We're gonna head back down into the basement and make the side rails. So I have the left and right rails cut to width and length. I've marked a little pencil spot here where I need to drill a 5 8 inch hole a half inch deep. So I got a little flag on my bit here. And this is going to be used as some sort of pivot point for the mechanism. All right, so the instructions come with a little template that I can cut out and draw my radius on here. So I'm going to do that next. Place a board underneath there to prevent some blowout. Drill my holes. So I got your T-nuts right here. Gonna slip them in through the bottom. Nothing sexual about that at all, except that it feels good. Take it easy, Petito. We're going to take some iron-on edge banding and iron it right onto this board to cover up the exposed edges. You're probably asking yourself, David, do you even have an iron? Yeah, that worked. I'm not sure why I act surprised. I knew that was gonna work. Got one of these double edge trimmers for trimming off the edge here. Never used one. Uh, but in my practice run, it seemed to uh, work pretty darn good. Way easier than a utility knife. So I got my two rails here. Apparently I got to drill some sort of one inch pivot hole all the way through in each one. So I've marked my spot. I've got a waste piece underneath here to prevent blowout. Some more T-nuts. We'll slip some T-nuts in. Some T-pain. So I flipped the board over. We got some female pivot plates in here. I'm gonna snap them in there. Square them up. I'm going to cut the foot rail and the head rail to width and length. All right, I'm gonna attach a piece of edge banding on the header and foot rails. 
This thing works like magic. All right, so now I'm going to attach the headboard and the footboard to the wood frame that we made earlier. So I'm just going to drill some holes and screw it in. All right, next up. All right, so I'm just using some wood screws to clamp side rails to the frame here. And the instructions and the DVD that they give you shows the guy doing this on his bench and he has it hanging over the bench and he's able to get clamps underneath there. I don't have room in my workshop, so we're actually here we're doing this on the floor and these hand screw clamps come in real handy from Rockler. All right, so over here on the table saw, we're gonna cut the two big panels that's gonna go onto the front. This is what you'll see when the bed is up against the wall. So on these two large panels here, I need to edge band three of the sides. We have our two front boards laying down on the floor here. We're just gonna set this down on top. and do a little glue and screw action. All right, we're back at it again at the table saw. We got the two side panels here. We're gonna cut them to length. because this is going to be butted up against the wall and I have the, the, the molding, the trim that goes around the floor. I need to kind of cut that away here so this sits flush. And uh, I kind of sketched this out on a piece of paper, very rough. You remember this trick back in elementary school, right? It gives me a faint line. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is assemble the header assembly. I have this board here up on spacers and I'm going to screw in this back piece which will have a half inch lip on the bottom. And then we're going to nail in this other piece here and we can then uh, pound in the nails all the way and then hide them with some wood putty. So let's get this on here. I already have it pre-cut and pre-drilled. Got a little bit of glue in here. I did pre-drill before getting the nails started. That way I don't split the wood. Now we're gonna install this little underwear elastic thing here on the corners. Just stick that in the hole there.
So the header assembly is just clamped in here temporarily. We lifted up the bed and we checked for an even gap. We made some adjustments uh, off camera because I needed some help. So the camera guy, Eric, was here to help me. And so we got everything clamped right where we need it. And so I'm just going to pre-drill and screw the header in place. Definitely an awkward position, but we've all been in those situations. All right, so I have the gas spring here that I'm just going to pop into place. And set that back. I'm gonna use these anchors here and anchor the top right into the wall and get the hole started. I have a new book coming out later this year on making cutting boards. If you want to get your name printed in the book, head on over to patreon.com slash to find out how. I'd also like to thank my top patron Renee for her generous support. Every week over on Patreon, we give something away. And this week we are giving away the bandsaw box that we made a couple of videos ago. It will come with a signed copy of my book. So if you want to find out how to get your name printed in my upcoming book, or get involved in the weekly giveaways or get your name mentioned on this show, head on over to patreon.com slash Pachudo. If you like this video, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and sharing this video with your friends. And be sure to subscribe as I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So we're going to leave the bed as is for right now. We don't have a mattress just yet and we haven't completely decided on the placement within this room. So once we finalize the arrangement of this room, we're going to add trim along the top to hide any gaps and inconsistencies. We'll also add trim along the sides and the front here as the movement of the bed won't interfere with that trim. Along with the top and bottom, we're going to add trim molding along the front here as well as some door poles to give it a cabinet-like feel. We're likely to add shelves and drawers along the sides here for a customized look. All this will be in an upcoming video as well as staining and finishing it. I'd like to thank Rockler for supporting this channel. Head on over to rockler.com to get the hardware used in this video as well as all the tools necessary for this build. If you have any cool suggestions on how I can customize this bed, let me know in the comments down below and maybe we can incorporate them in the next video in this series. If I were to ever build this again, the one thing I would do different is I have a very small shop with very low ceilings and not a lot of room. So the plywood was really hard to move around in my shop. This would have been a lot easier if I just would have took this outside, used some saw horses and my circular saw to cut everything up. So if you have a very small shop, you might want to use a circular saw and work in a bigger space. If you have a big shop, you're good to go. As always, have fun, be passionate and make something. So this is my table saw. This is where the magic happens. This is the center of my workshop. All right, this is my table saw outfeed table. You might remember the video. 